Sue and Mary had an equal number of beads. After Sue gave 54 beads to Mary, Mary had seven times as many beads as Sue. So how many beads did they have all together? Now, if Mary had seven times as many beads as Sue, we can calculate that Mary and Sue must have shared eight parts equally at first. They must have had eight equal size parts all together. And let's, let me show you how I can see that, how I figure that out. I'm going to draw a picture of what the problem looks like at the end. OK, I'm going to draw, here we go, that was going to represent Sue, and then we're going to have something represent Mary. OK, so here's the block that's going to represent what Sue has at the end. OK, one part. All right, and let's have a look at what Mary had. Mary had seven times as much. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. OK, let's keep this line as straight as possible possible. Okay, so let me just divide this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Can you see that? Sue has one part and Mary has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times as many beads in this case as Sue. All right. Now, we also know that at the beginning they had an equal number of beads. OK, well, how can we divide up these parts so that they're shared equally amongst Sue or between Sue and Mary to represent what it was like at the beginning? So how many parts have they all together? Seven, eight. All right, so there's eight equal sized parts. How do we divide eight between two? Well, that's four. OK, so at the beginning, one, two, three, four, both Sue and Mary must have had four of these equal size parts each. Can you see that? All right, so that's this is the before situation here. This is what we had afterwards. How did we get to the afterwards? Well, Sue gave 54 beads to Mary. OK, so whatever she gave to Mary, so she had she had this much and she gave this to Mary. OK, here, this portion here. This is what she gave to Mary. And we know that the value of this is 54. OK, the value of these three equal size parts is 54. So we need to, in order to calculate how much one of these equal size parts is worth, we need to divide 54 by 3. So 54 divided by 3. Okay. Okay, and that gives us 18. So each of these parts must be worth 18. OK, and if these parts are worth 18, all of these are worth 18. OK, 18, 18, 18, 18. OK, all of these parts are worth 18. They're all equal size. So if we want to work out how many beads there were all together, we need to multiply 18 by the number of equal size parts, which is 8. So 18 times Eight. Okay. Which gives us one hundred and forty four. So there were one hundred and forty four beads all together.